Hello, Keisha here. Welcome to Soapified. We're going to be making an ocean sea turtle soap today. And here is our uh, sand layer. And I'm going to lighten it up just a bit so it looks more realistic to sand. And now I'm going to mix in our fragrance oil. Get that incorporated nicely and pour this into the bottom of our mold. Got to scrape all the soap into the mold there. Smooth it out. Clean up my sides. And I'm going to let that set up while I mix up the other colors. We're going to do three different blues so we can get like all the different colors that would be in the ocean along with a white that will be like sea foam. So I've chosen a dark blue, a light blue, and a medium blue. In goes our soap batter. I wanted to take the time to thank each and every one of you for watching my videos. It really does mean a lot to me to have the support. Um, please subscribe below. Every subscription is free and it helps my channel grow. This blue is really, really, really pretty. I love it. It's a nice turquoise color. And then we have our lighter blue. It's not quite the color that I want. So I think I'm going to add some more blue to it. little bit more blue. That should do it. Oh, there we go. That's pretty nice. I like that. We got to scoop our color down in the soap to, so it doesn't go poof and fly up in the air when I mix it in. And now for the white. So we've got four colors, technically five colors going in this soap when you count the sand layer. Now we're going to make sure everything's nice and mixed in real good. A little bit more blue. It's amazing how stick blending it can change the color. You'll never get it fully incorporated if you just stir it. No matter how much you stir it, you have to use the stick blender.
So what I'm doing right here is um, basically what's called a in the pot swirl where you pour different colors into a different color and you get this swirl effect in the soap. And right now I'm going to make these drag marks along our sand layer so it isn't just completely flat. It will look more natural this way if there's a little curve to the sand. Adding in our fragrance oil. You guys, this smells really, really nice. The scent notes here in this soap have top notes that are fruity. Um, We've got like hints of melon, orange, lemon, and lime, which is really, really nice. So now I'm going to pour in the blue into the white. Sorry if that's not the best angle there. I was just trying to work quickly before the soap gets too thick. I'm doing the best I can with a camera setup that I have. Sorry about that. Put a little bit more blue in. And then we're just going to pour it in our mold. And hope for the swirl effect. Tap it down a little bit. Get rid of air bubbles. There you can see it started thickening up a little bit on me, but that's okay. I know how to fix that. Pat it down. So now that I've got it flattened out, I have our piping and it's a combination of blue and white. This is kind of my favorite part of the soap almost, but I really do like making the swirls because every single time it turns out different. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to do this one real quick, kind of like a end of summer soap because we're getting ready to gear up for the next season. I try to make things as even as possible and kind of rotate the colors around so you can see the blue and the white from all sides. I think this one's going to turn out pretty good. I'm kind of excited to cut it because I have invested and got my first professional soap cutter, which I'm very excited about. So now all of our bars will be exactly the same size. There won't be any of those, you know, kind of wavy cuts. Um, because I was cutting all of my bars by hand with 
um, a wire cutter, but it was all being done by hand. So everything is going to be a lot more straighter and, you know, each bar will weigh the exact same amount and, you know, things like that. It just makes for a nice finished bar to have a, a really good soap cutter. Now here's some gold mica on a makeup brush and I kind of want to do like a little dusting of gold on one side here. And if it goes all around, that's okay. It won't hurt anything. And I'm also going to do a light dusting of some blue environmentally friendly glitter. This glitter is awesome because it is not plastic. It is okay to enter the water systems. It is not going to hurt any of the little fishes in the ocean or lakes, rivers, and streams. So we've got some little starfish embeds here and these adorable little sea turtles that are my favorite. I love sea turtles and they are so, so cute. I'll do a close up when I'm finished so you can see it better. But the detail in the sea turtles is pretty awesome, I gotta say. I'm trying to line everything up so that every bar gets a starfish and a sea turtle. So I do my best to eyeball everything. I'm really kind of digging how this is turning out, you guys. And those are some little sea pearls. I thought I'd put those on there to kind of finish off the top because pearls are naturally made in oysters in the ocean and kind of goes with my whole vibe here. Oops, misplaced one. I can fix that. Just add another one and that bar will get two pearls. Oops, I dropped that. <laughs> yeah, these are gonna be some thick bars because we're getting eight bars See that detail in the sea turtle? Yeah, we're going to have eight bars in this loaf, and usually we have nine. So these are going to be giant. And here's my professional soap cutter. Isn't she a beauty? Oh, look at the swirls in that sand layer, you guys. That is awesome. I'm really excited about that. That turned out better than I expected. I, I can't believe it. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Thank you. Thank you, everyone, for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, if you click the subscribe button below, it's free and it doesn't cost you anything, but it sure does help me out a lot as far as making my channel grow and hopefully being able to able to um, monetize it someday. But we'll see. I'm just so excited to be able to share what I do with everyone because not a lot of people understand what you mean when you say that you make soap. So this is basically what I can do to show everybody. I just like, really like those swirls. Thank you everybody for watching. Please subscribe.